What's up guys, VyperFPV here, and today I have the Helio RC Spring Flight Controller. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go down to the bench, we're going to kind of go over all the little pads and everything on this flight controller. Um, what's really interesting is this thing has a F4 and an F3 processor. So the F3 will actually do all the filtering, and then the F4 will actually handle all the processors uh, and all the stuff on Butterfly or Beta Flight or whatever you want to go ahead and flash this with. Uh, this does come pre-flashed with Butterfly on it. Um, when you first get it, you want to go ahead and flash it again and get the most updated Butterfly version you do have. Um, but let's go ahead and go to the bench and uh, take a look at this flight controller and uh, see what it's all about. All right, guys, we're at the bench with the Helio RC flight controller, spring flight controller. And so let's go ahead and take a look at all the pins and everything, what it actually does and how you would actually wire this up if you were wiring this today. So first of all, on the four corners here, this is the actual signal wires to your ESCs. And they're on the corners right here. And on the back is the grounds for your signal wires on ESCs. So moving on the top left here, we actually have your ground. This would be for your voltage coming into the flight controller to power up. So this is your ground right here. And then this one right here is either your VCC, which is your battery input. So it's going to either be your battery coming in or it's going to be 5 volts. And you would pick that from here. And I guess most people will probably bridge this VBAT because you want your OSD to show you your um, actual voltage. Um, but if you're not caring about that, then you want to bridge these, this one right here, and then it'll know that you're going to bring, bring it in 5 volts here. But like I said, most people are going to be using VBAT, so we'll go ahead and bridge these two pads right here. Moving on to the third pad up here, this is actually going to be your um, video in. And then moving over here, this is actually going to be your camera control. Now, going on the next pin over here, this is going to be your VTX, or video out. So this is the video that's going to be going out to your video transmitter. And then like this one right here, actually the one right next to it, skipping over one, that's going to be your um, video in from your camera. So right here, we got the transmit to pin, which is kind of a weird location for it. I'm not sure why that would be there, but it is. And then they have the receive ground right here. Then you have your 5 volts here, your S bus, so your Fry Sky receivers. We want to hook up this wire here, and then you have your S port right here. Now, flipping over this side, we have 3.3 volts here for spectrum, and then we on top of here we have your uh, transmit one, and then we have receive one, then we have transmit two, receive two, and then this is right here. Actually, nope, this one right here is your. Transmit 3, receive 3, transmit 5, receive 5. And then this is your 5 volt out regulated rail right here. And this is the ground pad for it. And I did actually check. Um, you do get, if you connect your USB, you do get voltage 5 volts out of this pad, these pads here. And you also do get 5 volts out of the, on the side where the receiver is right over here. Now moving on to this side here on the flight controller. Which is really kind of interesting because we're not actually going to be using any of these pads here. These are all, I think, something to do with the ICs or something like that on the actual flight controller itself. Because this one says F4 and this one says F3. You don't have to worry about any of these pins here because you're not going to be using them for right now anyway for hooking up your quad. And then we have an 8-pin connector here. Now, like, I'm going to be using the DAL engine, so it does have an 8-pin harness on it. Um, but it does not match with the wires going out and in. So you're going to have to actually take the wires out of the harness and re-put them in to where they actually belong. I'm giving you a warning now, so don't expect to be plug and play. You actually have to move those wires out and make sure that they're actually on the correct voltage and everything else, and the correct motors and everything else. Then we have the USB right here, and then we have receive four, or this one actually, I believe, oh, this is actually your current sensor. This is not receive. This is your current sensor here, and then this is your LED pad here, which is the signal pad. And then we have the 5 volt LED pad here, and then we have the ground here. And then this is your buzzer plus, and then your buzzer minus. And I think that's really about it on the top. And the bottom, there's really not much to it. I'm just going to kind of give you guys a little brief close up view of it. Um, this is the F4 processor here. I believe this is the F3 processor. And I believe this is the gyro. And this is your OSD chip here. So yeah, I think that should be about do it. Um, you know, if you're using this flight controller, you're gonna definitely want to use either ESCs 
with a PDB, or you're going to want to go ahead and use a 401 ESC, so you can hook it up on this one right here. Um, this ESC does do 32K sampling, and I think they're even planning on do 32, 32K in the future. That's what I was told by some people on Facebook groups. Um, but right now, I think it's safe to say you can do 32 to 16K on it, and you do not have to run a dynamic filter because that preparatory um, filtering for the F3 processor actually will filter everything and send it to the F4. Um, so this is a really interesting thing that they're actually doing here at Helio RC, and they're working with Butterfly with it. Um, so stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and do, put a build on this, probably with my uh, Chameleon Titanium Edition. And uh, we're going to use the Dow Engine 4 and one and a whole bunch of other little things. And we really want to see how this thing flies. It's supposed to be really, really buttery. So we'll go ahead and uh, take a look and see how it does. I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, if you'd like to go ahead and like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.